In this video, we will learn about matrices in our language. A matrix is an object in which the elements are stored in a 2D rectangular shape. A matrix can only have homogeneous values, that is, the values inside a matrix will always be of same data type. Matrix can be created using the matrix function. This is an example of a matrix. The basic syntax of a matrix is, first we write the matrix function, inside that first we write the data, after that the n row is used to denote the number of rows, for example in this matrix we have 3 rows, first row, second row and third row. After that the n column is used to represent the number of columns, that is first column, second column and third column. After that by row is a boolean value inside which we can write true or false, that means whether we want the values to be assigned by row or by column. Finally, DIM names is used to give the dimension names. For example, this is a one dimension and this is the second dimension. So we can give names to our dimension. Now we'll practically see how we can implement matrices in R. In the first line, we have created a matrix with the name P. We have used metric function to create the matrix and the values inside this matrix will be from 3 to 14. The number of rows will be 4 and this will be aligned by rows because by row is true. Now we will try to print our matrix and create this. So the values inside this matrix are 3, 4, 5 from 3 to 14. This is aligned by row. If we made by row false then the values would have been aligned by columns. Now we will try to access the element at third column that is this column and first row that is that is, when we try to access this element, this should be 5. When we select by dragging, then keep in mind that you drag the complete line. Otherwise, this will show an error like this. Because we did not select P and we selected this much line. So, this gave us an error. Now, we will try to access the element at 2nd column and 4th row. This should give us 13 as the 2nd column and 4th row is this element. Now we will try to make one more matrix Q with values 14 to 25 same as the previous values same as the previous matrix it will also have 4 rows that are aligned by row. Now we will create this matrix and now we will try to perform some mathematical operations on these two matrix. First will be addition of P matrix and Q matrix. This should give us the sum of first matrix and the second matrix. Similarly, we will perform subtraction of first and second matrix and similarly, we will perform division and multiplication also. So, these are the mathematical operations that you can perform on matrix. Thank you.